What is up guys, it's your boy Swalam here, back with another World of Warcraft video for the Mr. Pondaria Remix event. Now, I started playing this event about one week ago, and I've been absolutely loving it. I've been playing it quite a lot as well in the last week, and I dare say that I have almost finished the Mr. Pondaria Remix event in about one week's time. I have farmed close to... Uh, between half a million and one million bronze. It's quite hard to say, but I've basically been um, I've been gearing up my main character. I am almost at max gear now on the main character. I have bought every single mount the event has to offer, so like already known, already known, already known, bought all of the mounts, literally all of them, and I've bought every single transmog item, and I've gotten to the point where right now, even though I'm not a like super collector, I've gotten to the point of buying out pets, not, not pets, toys. So I've even bought out, for example, the Eternal Kill, and I've spent 50,000 bones on that. I am missing a couple of toys still, but I bought the Black Flame Daggers, and we have bought a bunch of like weird toys as well. Overall, I have spent way too much bronze, I have farmed too much bronze, and I've bought all of the transmog items, which I was mostly here for the mounts and the transmog items, so based on what I came here for, I have basically achieved what I came here for. That being said, in order to be fully done with the event, there's a couple of more things that I have to do, but they will all come in time and I mean I'm still playing so much every single day it's really fun and it's a really good way to level up alts and get rewards while doing so you can for example level up an alt you will have about 70,000 bronze to spend which is almost enough for two mounts if you do your dailies at level 70 once you can buy two expensive mounts for one level 70 character which is pretty insane so in this video I want to talk to you guys about how I have been farming in bronze in the Miss Pondaria remix event which hopefully will be valuable to you guys. I know that I have quite a few classic WoW players that are watching my videos, which if you are ever planning to jump into retail or the Mr. Pondaria Remix event, hopefully this video will be helpful to you. And if you're only playing the Mop Remix event, hopefully this video will still be important or will still be relevant to you and will still be helpful as well. Basically want to cover my experiences, how I'm farming bronze, and just everything about bronze at the moment in Mr. Pondaria Remix. Now there's one important thing to keep in mind and that is that we have just gotten an update, which was not in effect when I have been playing, by the way, the Time Runner's Mastery. This changes up bronze farming quite drastically, where you're now getting 100% more bronze from bronze caches, which means that your regular caches from dungeons, which used to give you, for example, 750 bronze, they now give you 1,500, and the ones from raid bosses, for example, giving you 1,250 from the greater bronze caches, they are now 2,500. On a level 70 character, you could do your dailies and get 5,000 bronze in 15 minutes. That is now 10,000 bronze instead, so doing your dailies is absolutely the most valuable thing. So for example, doing a random heroic dungeon, you will get a greater bronze cache. This gives you 2,500 bronze now. This used to be 1,250. Also, you have a daily quest as well to do a kill like X amount of dungeon bosses, which is done in that same heroic dungeon, which also gives you the same cache. So once again, 2,500 bronze. You have the same that you can get from doing a random normal dungeon. You can get the same from doing a random normal normal scenario, and a random heroic scenario as well, giving you 2,500 bronze from each. So that is 2,500, that is 5,000, plus 5,000, plus 5,000 from the dailies. That is 15,000 bronze, and you can do this in 15 minutes. After doing your dailies, you can also do looking for raid as well, so you can queue up for all of them. And a nifty trick here is that you can queue up for more than one or two at a time. When you queue up for two of them, for example, you will get a message saying you're doing this too fast. Wait 10-15 seconds, then queue up again. And you can queue up for a total of seven at the same time. So you can queue up for seven specific ones at the same time. Giving you, for example, if you're a DPS, then the queue time is quite long. 
but once you get into one LFR, the next one will basically pop instantly when you're done with the one you're doing. So queue up for seven instead of just one if you're doing LFR. This gives you a lesser bronze cache, which used to be 500 bronze. This is now 1000 bronze from one wing and also gives you a spool of eternal thread. That being said, if you do have a little bit of gear on your character, I would recommend finding or making your own groups for raids. So you can do, for example, heroic raids, normal raids, whatever you want, and keep in mind for Siege of Orgrimmar, you can do every single difficulty on the same day, so you don't have to choose in Siege. On the other ones you do have to choose, so Morgishan Vaults you either do normal or you do heroic, but for Siege you can do all of them. So yeah. Doing the normal raids you usually get about 1000 bronze, very quickly every single boss and it used to be about when I did my heroic world tours for example the bronze per hour used to be about 20,000 which means now it's probably going to be 40,000 because it's been doubled so the bronze per hour while doing heroic tours is going to be really really huge now the exact amount of bronze you get will depend heavily on your group if you have a group of full 476 people that will obviously go a lot faster than if you only have one 476 that is a lot of low item level people so keep in mind that when you're talking about bronze per hour here it when it comes to doing raids it heavily depends on the gear of the group and the average gear of the group itself so how many high level gear characters you have and how many not so good geared characters you have as well it will affect the bronze per hour but doing all the raids will right now be probably the best way to farm bronze because even before time runners mastery it was up there. It was number two or number three. Now apart from that there's one way to farm bronze as well and there's one way we can farm between 30 and 40 thousand in bronze per hour which is still going to be competitive towards raiding like heroic raiding or it will be better. It depends on your group once again. And that is the famous troll farm. If you've been playing the Mr. Pondario remix, you've probably seen these groups. You might have joined one yourself, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. But I'm going to talk about the farm anyway. It's not a new farm by any means, but it's a super good way to make bronze. And it's much better than some people give it credit for. I've seen people saying that it's been nerfed, and if it has been, then it must have been insane in the past. Because I tried this, I've been trying this several times, and I have a couple of stats to share. I have got 20,000 in bronze per hour here, I've gotten 25,000 in bronze per hour here, I've gotten 30,000 and 35,000. So the difference is huge. It depends a lot on your group setup and exactly how you're farming. The way you ideally want to farm is have five markers out like we do here, and then you have one person standing on every single mark, spawn camping all the mobs. And then ideally you also want to have more pullers than just one druid and one hunter, which is something I fixed later in this evening, so you can see this group is not the ideal one, not the best one, and I'm doing a lot of heavy lifting here when it comes to pulling and also killing, but if you have more boomkins, more high level geared people, and more people pulling as well and just standing at their locations, well, it's going to be a lot more bronze per hour. In this specific clip, I got about 27,000 bronze per hour from this clip when I was farming, and I kept farming the entire evening without streaming or without recording, but I managed to peak at 33,000 bronze per hour personally from this farm, which once again, we could definitely optimize this a lot more than we personally did. We had three druids, we could have five, but we had three, and that was more than good enough, and one monk with a statue, which also helped out a little bit but yeah this farm is absolutely insane you just want to make sure you're pulling correctly you want to have five marks set up so you see school mark was the one behind me then moon mark is basically right ahead and to the east like northeast you can see it every now and then popping up on the screen but it's uh, north north on the map pretty much if you look at the map it's north on the map that is where the moon mark is going to be then i'm standing on school pulling everything on school and every now and then you go back and forth and loot as well 
Ideally, you want to loot about every two minutes as a group, kind of. But while you're looting, you also want to pull. The, the more downtime you have, the less bronze per hour you get. And it's a really, really good farm, really chill farm as well. In addition to getting a lot of bronze, you also get a lot of threads. So you increase the stats on your cloak at the same time. And you can actually find epics while doing this. So if you're like me, like when I started out, you wanted to get some epics before upgrading your gear, well this could be a great place to farm those epics until you start doing heroic raids, because otherwise your only sources of epics will be open world farms and world bosses. You will not get them, you will not get epics from heroic raids. So if you're looking for epic items, this is also one of the places to farm that as well. You get a bunch of threads on your cloak, and for bronze per hour, it's anywhere between I want to say 15,000 and 40,000. Once again, depending heavily on your group. If you have five warriors that are all undergeared, you will get way less bronze than if you have five boomkins that all have really good gear. There's also two rares in a nearby area that do spawn, and I would recommend having a boomkin go and pull those and pull them towards the group and just kite them back, because they will also give you bronze and a bunch of threads, so pulling those rares is also worth doing. Either way, this farm is super super good, and if you want to test it out for yourself, well, all you have to do is basically go to the pre-made group finder, and you can type in troll farm. If you go to here, then you put in troll, there's usually groups up. There's one group up right now, it's listed under Siege of Orgrimmar Mythic, troll farm. For the location, it's in the Isle of Thunder, so you probably want to unlock that if you haven't, but you literally just fly to the Shadow Pan Garrison, and you can unlock the Isle in two minutes. Going to the Isle of Thunder, the location is pretty much exactly around this boat. You can see this boat right right here, at the storm sea landing, it's at that location, like in this area. So TLDR, farming bronze, do your dailies, that means both daily quests inside the hub right here, which is both for raids, scenarios, and dungeons. Do your daily um, raid runs, whether that's normal, heroic, or mythic, just do your daily runs of the raids to get the caches from there as well. And do your daily queues for normal dungeons, heroic dungeons, normal scenario, heroic scenario. And if you want to pump out more bronze after doing your daily activities, go and do the troll farm. And yeah, that is pretty much what I have for you today. Just wanted to pop by and talk about farming bronze in the Mr. Pondario Remix event. I'm personally having a lot of fun playing the Remix, and I think it's a good way to level up characters and also get uh, gear at the same time, or get mount at the same time. One more way, though, I mean, I talked about this in the, in the beginning, but literally leveling up alt is also a really good way to farm bronze, but it will not be an all-on-one character. But if you want to only farm bronze to buy mounts, pets, toys, transmog items, whatever you're buying with the bronze that is account bound. Leveling up alts is also a really good way to farm bronze and you can have an alt army ready for the war within at the same time. I've also made a video talking about um, how to set up a level 20 boosting character specifically for leveling alts in the mop remix, so check that out as well if you haven't already. Either way, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below and let me know what you're doing in the mop remix event in the comments as well. Either way, thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you again in the next video very soon.